What is up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Weighted Abs. Today's workout will combine dumbbells with functional core exercises so that we're not just targeting those surface level six pack muscles, but your entire core from every angle, as well as your arms, shoulders, and upper body. So for today's workout, I'm gonna recommend you go light on the dumbbells. I will be using a set of five pound dumbbells, but anywhere in the five to 10 range should be more than enough. Trust me, you'll be feeling the burn once you get going. So we're gonna keep things off the warm up, taking it down to the ground. I will go you through each exercise so as long as you're listening to me you will be good to go i'm gonna go ahead and press our start button here getting onto our hands and knees hands under shoulders knees under hips we're gonna kick things off with a cat cow so big exhale pulling the belly button up toward the ceiling imagining an invisible line pulling it up followed by a big inhale pushing your hands into the ground extending that neck up feeling your core lengthen Big exhale, contracting the core, pulling the belly button up and in, followed by a big inhale. Feeling that transition from lengthening to contracting through the core muscles. From here, keeping your hands where they're at, we're gonna step our legs out, extending them, dropping the hips down into a cobra pose, okay? So here again, we wanna feel that nice stretch through the core, starting with a big inhale, pressing the shoulders down away from the ears, followed by a big exhale, transitioning from the lengthening to the contracting of the core, pulling that belly button in towards your spine, feeling that stretch through your shoulders and back, then big inhale, coming back to Cobra. Again, focusing on feeling that transition between the lengthening and contracting of the core. It's gonna be important later on in our workout. All right, from here what we're gonna do is drop down into Cobra with me. From here we're going to flex our toes under, pressing them into the ground, big inhale in Cobra, followed by a big exhale, pulling the belly button to the spine, pressing the toes into the ground to come up to a high plank position. We're gonna be doing this again early on in our workout, so really make sure that you feel the core contraction now. We've got those muscles firing, activating, coordinating together. All right, from there, we've got 30 seconds of rest before we get into our first circuit, which will be done in a high plank position. So that position we were just in, we're gonna be starting there. Now's a great time to grab some water, a towel, a tissue, do what you gotta do. I'm gonna go ahead and get set up with my dumbbells here. So again, I'm using five pounders today. Five to 10 pounds should be good. Getting into that high plank position, I will be talking you through each exercise. So as long as you've got your eyes and ears on me, we will be good to go in three, two, and one, kicking things off with an alternating plank row. So legs out back, about hip width apart. Hands just inside a shoulder width. Belly button in, hips down, no booty pop in here. We're going to row. Put the weight back down, switching sides as we go. Working to minimize any twisting or shifting of the spine. I want you to keep rowing here. If you get a cramp, I've got one right now, it's okay. Just readjust. Keep rowing. What I want you to focus on is keeping tension in that area between your hips, belly button tight. Envision your core as a wall. It's an immovable object. It's not going anywhere. We're all about stability and control with this workout, nice and slow. All 
update. From there, dropping down, we've got 15 seconds before we go into our next exercise, which will be a push-up, two loaded bear with a wave back. So I will explain this once we get going back into that high plank. Right, heck in now. We're gonna kick this exercise off by dropping down into a push-up. Either dropping the knees or keeping them elevated. Push forward with the shoulders, pull back through the core, and then wave back to our starting position. Down on a push-up, drop the knees or hover them. If you drop them, it'll be a little bit easier. Pull in through the core to come back, and then wave to return to our starting position. Repeating just like that with me. seconds before we go into our final exercise of this first circuit. So starting from that plank position again in five, four, three, two, and one. Hands a bit shoulder width apart, hip, feet hip width apart. We're gonna be going from plank to an alternating down dog reach. Okay, so starting here, pulling the belly button up, lifting the hips and lifting the weight, reaching for that opposite foot and back down. Just like that, with me, nice and slow, nice and controlled with that weight. seconds before we go into our next circuit. So for our next circuit, we are gonna be doing this from a kneeling position. I'm gonna go ahead and spin around, face the other direction, mix it up a little bit. But now is a great time to grab a towel, a tissue, some water, whatever you need before we get going again. So I am gonna stick with my five pound weights. We will be starting from up here in a tall kneeling in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, up to tall kneeling, weights by our sides. We are going to, keeping the tummy tight, curl, press out and together, twist, back to center, down. Curl, press out and together, twist the other direction, back to center, down. Repeating just like that with me as we go. Keeping that tummy nice and tight, not letting the spine, Take the load of this. It's all your core stabilizing this movement. seconds to get into our next exercise. We're going to come to a split kneeling position. You can either use one or both dumbbells for this. I'm going to start with two and then I might drop to one. Getting going in. Right hack and now. So we're going to take the dumbbells, start with them on the inside of the thigh, tummy nice and tight, engaging the glute to help stabilize through the hip. We're going to chop, all right, as if there's an invisible tree in front of us that we're chopping with the dumbbells. Okay, so you're going to feel this through your core, bit through the glute of the leg that is on the ground, as well as through our shoulders, especially as we continue going with this one.
All right, 15 seconds to switch on over to the other side. As a reminder, you can do this with either one dumbbell, both, or start with both and drop to one as we go. I'm gonna start with both, getting going, right? Heck in, now let's do this. seconds before we go into our final circuit of this workout. So what I want you to do is shift around so that your feet are now in front of you. We are sitting in an upright position, weights on either side of our body. Our first exercise, I really want you to focus on having a nice upright posture and pulling that belly button in, okay? Keep that in your brain. You're gonna go in five, four, three, two, and one. So first exercise. Weights up by our shoulders, sitting back just until you feel that core engage. We are going to press the opposite arm as we tuck the opposite leg. Back to straight, press and tuck the opposite leg. All right, remember, we're not perfectly up right here. You're sitting back just enough to feel that core engaged the entire time during this exercise. There are no breaks for your core. Keep it as strong and stable as you can. is lay it back onto the ground. I want you to start with your legs bent up like this, arms straight overhead. We are getting going, right? Heck and now for an alternating dead bug. So what we're gonna do is opposite arm drops as opposite leg straightens, press it back up, switching sides as we go. Notice how as I drop that leg down, I'm really pulling my belly button into the ground and focusing on keeping that tummy tight, not letting the back arch. to move into our final exercise of this workout. The way that's gonna look is legs bent, arms extended straight back overhead. We're gonna be getting going in. Right, heck and now, all right? So from here what I want you to do is visualize pulling your elbows toward your knee. We're going to do an alternating pull over knee tuck, okay? So as soon as you start feeling that pull, from your elbow and your back muscles, I want that belly button going down to the ground, curling your entire body toward that knee, alternating side to side as we go. Finish strong with me. Ah, 
weights down. Shake your hands, shake your arms out, shake your legs a little bit if you need to. And when you are ready, this is the final sit up of the workout. I want you to sit up to have a little chat with me. Okay, there we go. Feeling good. Give yourself a pat on the back because you made it through a weighted abs workout. I hope you are feeling good. I hope you are feeling like you really got some good core engagement there. Something that I personally noticed when I first switched from doing kind of your traditional crunches only core workouts, the core workouts that yeah, you really feel the burn in the moment, but you know, you might be sore for a little bit, not that long. And it always feels very surface level. One of the biggest changes I noticed was instead of just feeling that surface top level of my core sore, I really felt my entire pelvic floor just light up in a way that I'd never felt from any other workout. So that area, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, that area that's not just like the surface level of your abs, but if you actually trace down with your hands and you find your hip bones, that whole area through here that stabilizes on a deeper level, I felt a soreness through there that I had never felt from my workout before, but it felt good because I felt like I was becoming more aware of my body, more aware of my stability, more aware of my breathing, more aware of how my core connected with other body parts and other muscle groups to stabilize everyday exercise. So I hope you're feeling that. I hope you're feeling good. Definitely let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, thank you for working out with me. I always love working out with you and I can't wait for our next workout together.